Hi everyone, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. I have something really weird and crazy to discover in front of you guys. Actually, not gonna lie. So, I was alerted by my friend James. Shout out to James. Thank you, James. He messaged me and told me that uh, one of my videos was in an Omision video. And honestly, I was just waiting for this to happen because <laughs> I have so many videos like as a scene kid of me just doing cringy stuff and a lot of it is cringeworthy for someone like Onision to go on and make fun of or react to in some kind of way which is what he does. Um, for those of you that don't know he has a multiple different channels. This one is on a uh Obro. -oh um, this one is called Neon Hair Dye Fails. So um, I did watch a small bit of it. I watched like some of the clip, but I haven't like watched the whole video or anything. I'm going to react to it in front of you guys. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm excited, let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna watch through some of the other clips too, just so everyone gets a gist of like what this video is for. Ready, let's go. Hair dye fail re reactions. <laughs> Baby dye in your hair green. Dye in your hair, ah, oh, fuck yeah. And this girl's hair dye is going to turn out like. I've washed my hair out. I literally just washed it with lukewarm water. Okay. So I haven't put any product in it. Or... Why are you bragging? Looks really bad. Wow. Looks terrible. I mean... I'm the Joker now. This is the yeah, So I definitely have seen this girl's videos before. I don't know who she is. I love her hair dye though. Um, anyone who can rock a neon green like that, definitely go for it. Um, so I, I, I disagree with Onision on that. Not that that matters. This is not what this video is about. <laughs> don't dye your hair green. Just pro tip. Don't do that. This is dye your hair. Thing. It's so. It's no, so it's cool. not. Winning a million dollars is probably so one of the cool. coolest things ever. <laughs> well, really, what the heck do I do? I'm like almost. Out. What you do is you hire a professional to do that job for you because um, it almost always goes bad. Why do Why do we try? So good about myself, which is basically what I wanted. At some point, she put makeup on. I don't even understand, but I guess she dyed her hair boring. So that's good color. Seem to say, but. I'm excited. The sound of the brush makes me cringe. Love the breathing. I'm excited. <sighs> Humans are gross. I have somewhere to be in two hours. But me at least too. my hair's gonna me look too. amazing. Also, no, I love it that looks... this girl like did not use gloves because in all of my old videos of me coloring hair, all my color like all of the color would get on my fingers and I loved it. And so now that I work with like chemicals that have peroxide in them and I use a lot more bleach, I wear gloves every single time but i still think it's fun and there's nothing wrong with not wearing gloves when you color hair and everyone bugs me about it don't bug me about it i love having purple fingers looks like someone cut their heart out and squeezed it on the top of your head and then you took a shower and it stayed next <laughs> uh, at least she has good taste in jams and the aftermath is wait for it here it comes. Baby, gotta so show pretty. me those results now. I'm pretty sure My hair right videos. now, I threw some curls in it. It looks really pretty. This is the hairstyle you want. She just won. She's very cool. Very cool. I think the main thing is that it's bright, but it's not tacky. Th that makes me salty only because what I know my neck my video is. Going for the Donald Trump look, huh? Goals. The dye in for around 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm back. I. Oh, what did you do? What did you do? Oh God, it looks so. So I love her hair. I love her hair so much. I think that, so I can't pull off like yellows at all, but she can. And if you can look good with yellow against your skin tone, do it do it because like it's one of the hardest things to pull off and if you can pull off one of those colors go for it i swear it i love that hair oh bad here's my video see this girl's smart she's having it professionally done because you know we respect ourselves I'm okay so i'm really happy about that part oh my god so um first of all backstory this is a video of me coloring my best friend my best friend cat's hair lavender and so this was um, I had just, just started at my hair salon that I work at now, but, you know, as an apprentice, and I had not been taught anything yet. 
he called me a professional and this is done literally in my room and so I was like oh so it looks like it's being professionally done by me who is almost a professional but not yet and not only that um so I, I hate that it was about her in this video not it she's my best friend so of course I love her but it's like this is my video and it was almost like it was her video and then I would just so happen to be doing it but um, she's in a lot of my videos her name is Kat and I wish I could have watched this video with her but she's in college and further away yeah. all right guys so this is Kat's hair I mean, I guess that's cool, but now you can like never shampoo your hair. Otherwise, most all dyes just come out. So when I see you and your hair is like vibrant color, I know you're a gross, horrible human being who doesn't wash their hair. Yes, we're back to that. Wash your damn hair. Basically, so that's exactly what the point was. Like we knew that when she goes to college, she's not gonna have time to come back to me and get her hair done often. I chose a color that doesn't fade to a weird, that doesn't fade to like a weird greenish hue like some teals do or like color her hair red and then it fade to a weird orange or something. We knew that it was going to fade. That's why we chose purple because purple fades back to platinum if it's the right shade. And yeah. But also I will point it out there that I, as a hairstylist of course, I definitely disagree with Onision on the fact that you should be washing your hair. First of all, I do... Oh my god, here we go. Here's the big, the big, whoa moment. I do not shampoo my hair, like at all. The only reason why I would ever shampoo my hair is to remove color or to, if I'm coloring my hair, remove that from my scalp so that it doesn't overprocess on my scalp and hurt. And I use cleansing conditioners, which are antibacterial and antifungal, and they clean the hair, but don't strip it away. So. It, it saves my color, it saves the integrity of my hair, and my hair literally feels just as clean as if I were to shampoo it. I use those, like, often, so it's not like I'm going a super long amount of time without washing my hair. I'm washing my hair, I'm just not using shampoo. So, um, I just think, like, there's so many ways to go around that, and I was going to make a totally different video on it, but I just wanted to put it out there because everyone's paying attention now. <laughs> Um, so the reason why we did this color since I for four years since I'd been coloring my hair I'd begged her I'd be like we should do your hair a color like we should we should color and she was just scared to because she had a beautiful golden blonde and then eventually I She was like I'm ready I'm going to college in like a month and I'm super duper ready to do this so we just went for it and the reason why we chose lavender was primarily because this color stuck um, as a nice soft purple pigment and then as it washes out as pastel colors do it would fade back to a graceful platinum make me proud with your hair you know. dye job this is a disaster wow like seriously you just Justin Timberlake can't dye his hair blonde because it looks like Top Ramen, and the same applies to you. So you thought add orange? That was your... Come on. I'm just gonna pack this into a ponytail. Yeah. Um, after I washed my hair, um, I, I put a living... I know, okay, so I know it's just an accent, but what? The H isn't silent. How did you put dye in your air? It's... <laughs> That's my beat. That's my jam. You guys can see. Did it all over. You look cool. I like that tattoo going up your neck. That's my commentary. <laughs> Ugh, the fingernails. You're a super villain. You're like an evil villain. That and you wanna how is that attractive? I'll claw your eyes out, boys. Come date me. Bam silver blender blue. Okay, so I'm done watching that video. I I didn't really want to go through and like uh re react to everything that he reacted to because that's not what this video is about this video is just to be like hey guys i was noticed but i also wasn't noticed my friend was um which is okay um i honestly have been like wondering if there was ever a moment where someone reacted to one of my old videos because i have plenty of videos um i just find it hilarious that onision chose one 
of the like 30 something videos that I've posted of me coloring my own hair and chose one of me maybe like only one of them that didn't show my face <laughs> oh my god that's my life that's my life <laughs> okay wait so backstory i don't know onision i do not know onision at all myself but my weird little tie slash connection is that i know i have i am acquainted with uh billy who dated his wife that was a whole messy story there that was very interesting. Um, and then her best friend, uh, Ayala, she dated Social Repose in the past and uh, everyone probably knows who he is. And apparently they all live near me, but more north. Um, so I've ran into them at Warp Tour a, a few different times. And that was all pretty interesting, but um, and I have friends who are acquainted, duh, whatever. I'm friends with Kyle David Hall, um, and he reacted to him as being the worst or the most hated out of all of the um, My Digital Escape. But I've never been part of it myself, and so I feel like as someone who's a smaller YouTuber, it's almost a really, it's, it's not, I don't want to say it's an enjoyable moment because it was like it, it wasn't much like they, no one saw my face um but it was my video and for me that was a celebratory moment to see like hey i'm actually noticed by somebody who a lot of people know about is that something to be celebratory about i don't know but i'm here and i reacted to the video so thank you, James, for shouting that out to me so that I could project it to the rest of my channel. <laughs> okay, that's enough for this video today. Um, I have a lot of videos I've been editing and working on that I'd love to get out soon. So I'm going to go and start editing other videos. Thank you so much, guys. Stay epic, everyone. Bye!